shout out to Leo Messi. But we're here at Dick Sporting Goods once again to check out the selection here of basketball shoes. They definitely have something on on fire, bro. Now, a lot of these shoes we have seen before, but we have some new colorways. And I'm just going to go over everything here because uh, I like to talk about basketball shoes. We're just going to put them all together in one video. If it's a shoe you've seen before, that just is what it is. But give me your feedback on it in the comments below. Very solid colorway right here of this uh, Jason Tatum 1. You know, the twos are out right now, but this is definitely one of the solid colorways for sure. Retail on this is still, oh, it's actually marked down to $72. Right next to that is a pair of the Jason Tatum 2, the neon colorway. But I do think this colorway is just a little bit better. $125 on the retail, not on sale just yet, but a good price point still. Puma MB03 Low. We definitely talked about this shoe before and tried it on. It's a true to size fit. Not a bad shoe at all. $120 or actually $115 on the retail. They got the Zion 3s marked down to $97 on the retail now, normally like $130 pretty decent colorway on these let me know if you guys own a pair that new balance Kawhi 4 is different bro i like this colorway 103 on the retail so it's already on sale too here at dick sporting goods kind of the only store i've seen hold the uh, new balance Kawhi basketball shoe they even have some gt cut threes left over marked down at 98 bucks that you can see right there normally what 190 solid colorway on the uh penny or actually the uh KD17 Penny colorway, 150 in a retail steal. JD Sports got these for 125 right now. LeBron Witness 8 Easter on sale for 70 bucks. Definitely a clean colorway for the uh, LeBron Witness 8. Not sure what the Curry's 11s did, man, but a lot of them are on sale and they have been on sale for a minute. These are marked down at 80 bucks, normally 160. Look what we have here. Second location to have these on deck, man. LeBron 21 grandma's couch very fire colorway we talked about this before let me know if you guys are a fan of these if you guys are going to be scooping these up i'll try to put some links in the uh in the uh, video so you guys can scoop it up if you want a pair these are definitely fire though black and white colorway of the nike jaw one definitely a clean one for sure kd 17 usa definitely a classic colorway for the usa i think he wore this one and another colorway but these are pretty decent let me know if you guys are feeling them or not white and black colorway of the jaw one another tv the white dominant black detailing very clean on these for sure they also got the murray state colorway here too along with the varsity royal blue colorway on the nike jaw one this is definitely clean right here let me know if there's something you guys would consider adding to the collection that white and blue looks good on this jaw one put some white laces in here make it pop just a little bit more and they even got some more recent heat man the adidas don issue five or don issue six let me know if you guys are a fan of this shoe actually you guys like this more than the don issue five i'm not sure if i do I want to try it on to see what it's about. The traction pattern looks pretty good. The colorway is definitely nice as well. It looks like it could be very breathable. You got Don on the back pull tab. Definitely an upgrade from the previous models. That's a fact. Let me know if you guys like these. The toe box looks kind of narrow, so that's going to be interesting to see what the sizing is like on, like on this shoe. They got the Adidas Adi Zero Select 2.0. This is the shoe Jalen Green has endorsed. This is like his shoe right here on sale for 75 bucks or $77. Don issue five is here for 77 bucks. Let me know if you guys like this colorway. Got the gum also here. Definitely not mad at these at all. I think these are pretty interesting for sure. Then they have this latest colorway of the Puma Scoot Zero. Can't say that I've seen this before. Very loud colorway. I like it though. 100 on the retail for these shoes right here. Let me know if you own any of the Puma Scoot Zeros in your collection. Definitely clean. And these are probably the standout releases here. All four of these are definitely pretty solid. The blue one, the Queen's Couch, the Don Issue 6, and a new colorway of the Puma Scoot Zero. Let me know which one of these guys you guys like the most. These shoes right here actually fit pretty good. It's a tutor size fit. My toe box area. I got a little space right there. I do like the 3M on a TPU, that's pretty dope, you know? But uh, these do fit pretty good on feet, true to size. Uh, so that's a good thing about Adidas. Most of their shoes are true to size fit. If you guys can find this a little cheaper, then you might wanna go for that. But uh, the price point is definitely not bad. Had to try these on to see what they were talking about. The Don Issue 6, let me know your thoughts about them in the comments below. Adidas 
Don issue six, man. Definitely not a bad colorway. Both shoes are the same, nothing too different. Had to come here and check them out. It is a shoe I can recommend to you guys. Shoe to size fit. Fits really good on feet. Colorway is not bad at all either. Let me know what your thoughts are about these in the comments below. Yo, we saw these Ultra Boost five time um, in a different colorway. First time seeing it in this cool gray colorway. Not a bad shoe right here, 180 on a retail. Newer colorway on a Nike Dunk Low. Color combination is pretty decent. Let me know if you got a feeling need or not. 115 on the retail. Definitely pretty clean. They got those and then they have these gray ones right here next to it that I think is also pretty solid too. White with the gray. Quality is not too bad on these. Of the two Dunk colorways, which one are you guys more of a fan of? Cacao Dunk Lows here, available too. And then they also have these pink ones here. Both of these guys are priced at $115. $99 on these New Balances. This colorway is not too bad on this silhouette. We've definitely seen it before. Let me know if you guys like these or not. And we got this 530 right here, which is also pretty clean. Not mad at this color combination either. If you've seen the, if you know the logo, then you know what this is. Get our first chance to look at these shoes right here. The Jordan Luka 3 now. Of course, this is a gray exclusive sizing of the shoe because they didn't have men's pairs here, but I've never seen this Luka before. This colorway is pretty interesting for sure. Let me know if you guys like these Luka 3s, the way they look. They also reminds me of some other shoes. I just can't put my hands on which shoe it reminds me of. This colorway is very basic. If you do some lace swapping, it might liven the shoe up. I doubt they come with extra laces. Nope. Both shoes are the same. You know what I mean? Pretty dope situation here, though. Not mad at these Luka 2s overall. I want to find a size 13 in men so we could try it on. Have not been able to try them on yet. Every time I saw them, they were in, um, it was in an 8.5, which is not my size. I'm a 13. But overall, this colorway is pretty basic. So let me know what you guys think about the actual model itself. Um, is this something you might be looking to grab this year? I definitely feel like they're going to be some good colorways of the shoe that might make me uh, interested. You know what I mean? The TPU placement right there cage on each side not mad at these though let me know your thoughts a quick look at the jordan luca 2 now i don't know if this is like a graceful only colorway it says bg jordan luca 3 bg pretty clean right here white with the uh those colors right there some lace swapping will liven up the shoe just a tad bit but uh overall the look of the shoe is not bad we've seen what the other colorway there's like three colorways kind of hovering around. I don't know if this is Gray School exclusive or not. But, uh, let me know if you guys are into the Luka 3s. Not just this colorway, the shoe in general. Give me your thoughts in the comments below. I buy Kids Foot Locker. This uh, Air Max Plus kind of caught my eye. i never seen this color tone on this one before. It looks kind of different. Let me know if you guys are intrigued by these or not. And you know we wish this was a men's pair for 99 bucks. That actually would not be here if it was $99 for the cherries, bro. <laughs> Sabrina's and Jaws here for 69 bucks here in white the nike slides but look at the outsole i kind of like that 65 on these kind of separates them from the other ones definitely give the usa vibe right there pretty clean on these slides not really a fan of those but maybe at some point we'll try them on and see what they look like down here on sale including this clippers hat with this patch pro standard though 19 dollars on them if they go down a little cheaper we might have to add some of those to the collection what about this one pro standard again i like that one that's kind of clean so they do have them here in men's sizes. Here's the first time looking at them in men's sizing. Not too mad at these at all. Details is clean. Medial side right here for sure. Let's try these things on and see what's up. But these on the men's pair got a translucent outsole. Grade school sizing didn't have translucent outsole. So that's something that's different for here. Birds, the little branding right there. Definitely a clean shoe. Let me go ahead and see what these feel like on feet. Now these is a shoe like my toe is here, I got space. It feels like I would have to go my foot all the way to the back. I got like that much space right there. So I feel like these are actually a true to size fit on the Lucas. I'm not mad at them though. It does fit kind of feel kind of loose. I don't know if it's because they're not tied up. But let me know what you guys think about them overall. Pretty decent, but I really need a different colorway. Maybe it's about the colorway on feet. Cause I, li I like how they on my feet, but they did feel like kind of loose. So I don't know, man. Let me know your thoughts about the look of them. Kind of passing on these though. I need a different colorway for myself though. So I walked into Chic and look what I have here. 
both colorways of the queen's couch we've definitely seen the pink ones a few times first time seeing the black colorway in hand it's truly definitely a fire looking shoe right here one to ten ten out of ten there's no question about it bro let me know if you guys are feeling these the way i am gum also really hits the shoe off well 225 on the retail for both of them i mean i'm not mad at the price point for them both of them are really nice wow these are fire which one do you guys like more you know the queen's couch pink one is definitely clean giving off easter summer vibes you know these ones kind of give off more of a formal vibe man these are hard bro wow look at the sock liner on here very plush only place i've seen have these lebrons is this chic shoes very clean right here both of these are 10 out of 10. let me know what you guys think in the comments below has a lot of things on sale man they got these down to 79 bucks right now that's a good price point for these the all-star colorway down to 90 bucks good price point for sure on that as well they got some phone runners down there too man and 350s it was a time you would never see that before along with those two triple black campuses got some usc vibes on the sambas right there overall selection here is definitely not bad really surprised to see those then we got the uh kobe's along with these down here on sale for 105. seeing these on sale is kind of weird to see i've never seen a sales tag on those nor have i seen a sales tag on these 125 on the retail for that is crazy yeezy's on sale galore adidas on sale galore we even got the uh, J Balvin's or Bad Bunnies down there for 119. Great selection of stuff here on sale for sure at this chic in the Northridge Mall. Very good selection of retros right here too. Some of the latest releases, Oreo 6s, 12s, the 1s, and the 13s. This chic shoes always has a great selection of stuff here. We got more basketball shoes right there. Then we're going to see what else we got here too. These are pretty clean too. I like these. Chic. Northridge, hand down, hands down, has the best selection here for LeBron's. Let me know what you guys think about the selection here. 21s and the lower, all of the fire colorways. All of these are could be in the top five of the LeBron 21s for sure. Dunk selection here is pretty solid. We definitely seen that before. Holy crap, this is crazy. 49 bucks for the Jordan 2 Python and women's sizing. 49 bucks for the retro is crazy, bro. $49 for the retro is crazy. $99 for those is what we're used to seeing right now. 139 we've seen that Foot Locker for 169 they got them here cheaper 139 on these definitely a fire colorway for the jordan 6 right there a lot of things on sale as you guys can see 189 179 respectively on those threes right there but this has to be a steal 50 dollars for jordan 2 is just crazy bro plenty of markdowns men's and women's shoes latest colorways of the romero fives down to 139 this one priced at 159 two good markdowns on that if you guys have been watching my channel for a minute you guys know i'm a fan of the corduroy air max ones down to 90 bucks on those and they got this style of air force one which is kind of different here on sale for 79 bucks actually my first time seeing this one here the one with the rope laces cream colorway 59 bucks on that definitely a solid selection here $30 on the TRC Pumas right there. $40 for the LeBron 21 Gray School. That one's $69 for the Gray School. Yeah, these are kind of dope. I like these right here. Black colorway, definitely a clean vibe on these. Got the extra material for sure. $99 bucks from the retail. Good materials, colorway's not bad. Let me know what your thoughts about these. They also got these 350s here as well. Definitely a clean shoe. I like these for sure. Retail on these is still 229. 230 on the retail for these. Blue Puma suede for the women here. Then they got those for 49 bucks. Look at those Timberlands. This colorway is pretty dope. Navy blue white, 59 bucks. The Bulls merchandise, $85 on the Mitchell and that stuff. Definitely clean. I like the colorway. Details on that materials are definitely clean on that. They got them in black and they got them also in red too. Chicago Blackhawks, pretty dope here too. Jersey selections are always on point at this location. Get out here if you have an opportunity to, for sure.